Well, this is Mike Farley. We're in Flower Mound, Texas on Lake Grapevine tonight, and we have an awesome pool to check out. So, what do you think of it? I think it's pretty fantastic. Oh, you can't see it. Ah, well, you have to envision things a little bit. So think about a builder that comes to a pool designer and says, I've got this neat idea on this unique piece of property, but we have to have the pool on the second floor. Okay, because then they can look out over the pool and look over the neighbor that's on the lake and see the lake. And so he's like, can we do that? And so with a lot of help, and a lot of people thinking about this, we came up with a solution on how to do that. So, this is the pool. This is usually what's underground that you don't see. This is actually, this is a vessel we built that we built the pool inside. So, we had to create something to support the pool up in the air so there's piers in here and a big footing underneath here and then we had to put something so we could create the floor of the pool which we used gravel and so we built a cinder block wall all the way around uh, this to capture the gravel so we could put the shape of the pool inside of that and so it's all in here and so we had this unique situation on Lake Grapevine that you can't build past a certain line and that line is literally right here. Okay, so we can't put anything to displace the floodwaters past this line. Okay, so they said, how much pool can you fit in there? And I said, well, we'll push it all the way to the line. So as you go up, this is a unique shaped pool to fit in the space that was left basically along this area. Now they allowed the deck to be there because it's above the flood plain and they didn't count the posts for displacing water. Okay, so this was all a big math problem that a lot of people worked on to come up with the solution. So this is your pool. You want to go up and see it? It's spectacular. Okay, so what is it? It's a pool on the second floor. Let's go check it out. So, this is the pool. Spectacular, huh? So, this is the line that we had down below. Goes along here, goes to the corner of the house. That's the space we had to work with. So we had to be really efficient on how to fit everything in. So we had this weird corner down here. What can you do in a weird corner in a swimming pool? Tanning ledge. This is a great place to have the tanning ledge, especially since one of the doors coming in from the family room is right there. So we have the tanning ledge there. We've got the sound of water with our bubbler going on here. And so uh, this vessel went all the way along this side, here, back over here and here. So we had to use a wood deck to connect all the pieces because the house is built totally separate than the pool so the deck spans between the two. Now the upper balcony is supported by the pool itself so these posts that come down are supported on the, the shell of the pool. Uh, so you, you definitely have to work with an engineer on all these details. So we had the tanning ledge, it's big enough for a lounge chair or a couple of chairs and then we have a couple of stairs going down into it and they wanted a deep pool, they're tall folks and so this pool starts at four feet and goes down here and we're at six feet. Okay, so we have a nice deep area to play around, float, cool off in. This pool is for hanging out. We're not playing water volleyball in here or water basketball in here. Uh, we're hanging out in this space. We're enjoying the sound of water. Uh, and, and oh yeah, we got a hot tub. Okay, hot tub right here. Hot tub very comfortably sits four people. So we've got one, two, three, four people in this hot tub right here. So it's great space right by the master bedroom. I mean, there's a barbecue grill tucked in the corner. We got the table that sits four people. We've got a couch here that looks out at the lake. Uh, we've got some lounge chairs. And then we set this lower deck up here so people could come up and sit on the edge of this coping. Uh, or if you're a small person and you can use it as a table. Uh, but basically we're 24 inches from here down to the deck itself. They even put a cool little fire pit area in the corner here. So all the deck area is in the core property. 
but the posts don't count so we had to keep everything inside this space right here we used a black pebble sheen called black onyx black onyx we wanted something that was going to be highly reflective also we had the real strong contrast with the white and the black with the white painted brick and the black framed windows and doors and so the gray deck was neutral in between we used a real subtle gray tile also on the water line uh, just simple ceramic so the deck is uh, a trex deck material uh, uh, so really cool product, a really nice situation. Oh, they also set screens in here that retract down uh, so they can actually block off the sun if it gets too hot because I got all this glass on this side of the house. So what is this? This is a pool on the second floor. So an unusual situation, but a very cool situation to fit into this space. So the fun thing about design is you create what's best for the client based on the house, based on the yard, and based on what they want. And this was a perfect solution for this client. Okay, uh, enjoy the great view of the lake and enjoy your time today with us here. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and inspiring for people that think they can't get a pool in a certain space. Uh, we put pools in a lot of cool places. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you down the road. If you got more questions, we're going to talk about a few of the details on this and some other videos like what is this deck material again? Trex. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye now.